So hello Capricorn and welcome back to Divine Rebel. My name is Racy and I'm going to be doing the readings for you today. Um, this is a general reading. I'm not using tarot. It's just my oracle cards and things like that. So it's going to be advice and guidance only. So just take it how it resonates with you. Um, if you want the insight in the tarot and see how things unfold, I'm going to be doing that in my Zodiac Extended um, on Facebook. So if you need any of that information, everything about me, you can find in the description. Okay. All right. I also use profanity on the channel and talk about adult things. So if you have kids or just don't appreciate that kind of language, you no, know, respectfully, you, know, you can sign off now. All right. So without further ado, Capricorn. This is my Chakra Insight Oracle deck by Karen Sangster. What is the universe focused on in your healing? Not responsibility. This is the solar plexus chakra. Card number 20. This is about disciplining the self, empowering the self, relying on yourself, and filling yourself. It is your responsibility. Your growth is your responsibility. You water you, you nurture you, you take care of you, you support you, you take actions and your highest good for you. And that ripples. It is your responsibility to empower yourself and fulfill yourself and depend on yourself. It's nobody else's job to take care of you but you, Capricorn. Nobody else's job to take care of you but you. And you are not responsible for anybody that you do not want to be responsible for. If it's not your circus, not your monkeys. It ain't your circus, it's not your monkeys. You know what I mean? It's not your responsibility. It's not. So watch this week. All right? I'm using my Rainbow Warrior activation cards. What energy is vibrationally helping Capricorn this week? Card number 33. Card number 33. Okay. It's a number of the Ascended Masters. It's a master number. 33 is about the Matrix. is about the matrix. Keywords are etheric layer, aura, organization, order, eternity, and patterns. It's your responsibility, Capricorn, to break your ass out the matrix, to break your ass out the programming, to get out of your patterns. You've been in patterns. It always happens. It always happens. It always happens. Like, you got to break it. You got to shift and change, okay? All things transmit an energetic signature. We receive and interpret long before the experience becomes physical when we're able to see, hear, or taste what's happening. It is because of this patterning that we experience repetition, Repetition, of course, is how we learn things, by experiencing them over and over again. It takes at least five exposures to new information to hear it for the first time, truly, and many usages of that information to create a habit or a memory. In the matrix of life, there are limitless opportunities to create new plot points. Every thought we have creates a new dimension that attracts more ways of expressing its vibration. Are you aware of your thoughts and the feelings that follow them? Or of the patterns that generate it all? This card is telling you it's time to pay attention to the subtlety of those patterns and what they are creating in your life. This is a time where you got to get really real with you and your energy, 444 on the clock, and what you're manifesting. You create stability in your life. You call in your angels for support and help and guidance and signs and synchronicities to let you know that you're on the right path. 
Because when you ask, you shall receive. Get out of the matrix. If you keep going through the same cycle of relationships, you know, different people, same fucking problem. Well, your energy is the same. Your thought process are the same. Your beliefs are the same. The way you treat your partner is the same. Maybe the way you idolize them is the same. Maybe the way you depend on them is the same. Think about it. What's the same? That has to change. Whatever's the same, that has to change. What is your belief system? You believe men are supposed to call first or act first or provide? Or, or, you, or you believe that the women should? Do you believe that a woman should make a first move or pay for dates and blah, blah, blah? And maybe that's what's not aligning with what you want, your belief system. Maybe you believe that if you work really, 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 really hard, you'll get more money. And really all you're doing is make yourself more tired. When there might just be a different way to make more money. It's not all about working hard. It's about doing something different. Breaking out of, this, breaking out of the system. Breaking through the ceiling. Thinking outside the box. Being bold. Being risky. Not stupid. There's a difference. High risk, high reward. Take a step in a new direction. The matrix... Break the program. Stop, you know, like this conveyor belt energy. You know, these wheels spinning energy and endless, endless circles. You know? I'm hearing shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. You gotta be authentic to you. It's your responsibility to make you happy. No one else's. All right. Medicine cards are animal spirits. What animal medicine is helping you heal? What animal medicine is helping you heal right now? Capricorn. Spider. Four, three. So we got two, zero, three, three, and four, three. So progressive numbers. Spider, you are the weaver of your own reality. You are the creator of your own destiny. What comes into your web is what you manifest. You believe it will show up and so it does. What you fear appears. This is the law of attraction. Spider builds its entire web, knowing it's going to catch what it intends to catch. So with spider medicine, the energy that you weave, you're going to catch what you're intending to catch with your vibration, whether you like your vibration or not, whether you're trying or not. You are the creator of your own reality, you have gotten yourself into every hole you've been in. You're going to have to get yourself out of every hole that you've ever put yourself in. And eventually you're going to learn to stop going in the hole. You won't go in the hole. You're going to go higher. Into something that you can catch what you really want. You go down into a hole, you'll catch snakes cockroach motherfuckers but if you go high up into the trees you'll catch things better suited for you elevate yourself it is your responsibility to get out of the matrix and i hope that helps 919 so until next time guys if you need me or just want to see more of me like i said all my stuff's in the description right underneath Till next time, love each other, love yourselves. Okay? Bye, guys.